Good morning. I am so excited to share another project today. I have been wanting to do this uh, for quite some time. And again, welcome to Where Wendy Travels, Where Wendy Creates. Today, I've got just a uh, bottle of Elmer's glue. And I've got a little medicine cap, reuse upcycle. And I'm going to uh, have water in it. And I'm going to put some glue in it. And it's going to be about one third glue to two thirds water. We're gonna stir that up real nice. And I think y'all remember the journal that I had that I said that I wasn't happy with some of the colors and I wanted to uh, kind of dull them down a little bit and see how I can make those yellows uh, come a little bit more uh, toned down into uh, something that we would like to to have. And I'm going to take that water and glue mixture, mix it up, and we're going to keep mixing it as we go through this video. But we're just going to take it and put that water and glue mixture over a part of the page. Let some of that dry out as we chat. And what I have is I have gotten some, I'm gonna weight the side over here down so it doesn't keep coming up. I've got some different napkins um, that we have left over from Thanksgiving. And I really love the leaves, but I love the, uh, the gold in it as well. And I'm just separating the two parts from that napkin. I'm going to open it up a little bit and I'm going to tear it down and I want to tear it on all four sides and put it down on my page. and goop it down with that uh, water and glue mixture. And I like the wrinkles in there, so I'm trying to actually pull it in on itself, creating some of those wrinkles. And I just thought putting some of that on my pages would tone down some of the yellows, bring out the browns, and I'm gonna tear little pieces and finish this page up. Let's see. And again, I like it torn on all sides because again, I like that rough crinkle look and it's gonna give it the multi-texture. And it's okay if we overlap. We like a little bit of bulk in the book. We like some texture. I'm wanting that white of the paper towel to pretty much disappear. Glue down, match the other, like a pile of leaves out in the yard. like the key up there, so I'm not going to cover that up. And again, we're just working to uh, tone down some of these pages. Give it a real textured feel to it that we can write right over it when it's dry. And of course, we don't need this to be thick glue, and that's why we have the uh, one-third glue. You can use pretty much any glue. I like using Elmer's because I think it has no smell, easy cleanup, non-toxic, just like most glues. But again, I do like that it stays in place once it dries, I can use a blow dryer on it, or I can simply let it dry 
on its own with a page propped open. It's a very simple, simple process, but I like using the smaller pieces because I'm not looking for an overall effect of being flat. I want the wrinkles, the tear marks. I want it to look like my yard when the leaves have fallen down or when you travel up north and you see that the trees are all shedding. Making sure to get all of the edges to hold down. And we're good with the yellow showing through between the leaves, obviously. We don't want to cover up the pockets. or glue them down. All right, and we'll see how this dries in a moment. And we're gonna go ahead and flip a page and uh, do some more. Um, but I wanna show you the next napkin because we're going to uh, do several pages today. And of course I have a leftover napkin, so we're gonna do some Halloween. We've got some more leaves, and remember how I said that we uh, dyed some of the orange tissue off of the back of this paper that was white with the orange Kool-Aid. We're gonna put that on one, and ran across these lovely napkins here with a gold foil in them, and I've taken them apart and I have that nice texture look to them with the uh, gold foil in there. So I wanted to use these on some of those yellow pages as well to really tone those down. Okay, and of course my tea bags, we're gonna do some uh, tea bags on um, some tags and different items as well. So excited. Okay, so we are also going to go ahead and take some of the stamps that I have been collecting along with a small doily and some tags and just start the process of making them look darling. So let's take some of the orange dyed napkin and see if I can uh, Make this with our one-third glue and two-thirds tag. And go ahead and decorate this up. And we've put the glue, one-third glue, two-thirds water. And then gonna put this on let it dry come back maybe add some flowers some cartoons some stamps see what we want to do there okay so again just making a little bit of uh, texture some frou-frou on that and then we're gonna let it dry and come back for the next part and this is just a little piece of cardstock where I put some washi tape on. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit to that too. And let's go ahead and do some of the gold. We said we had the uh, gold napkin with just some of that frou-frou on the edge. And again, I don't like straight lines, so we're just gonna try and tear off the smallest little edging. We'll use that scrunched up real tight on another project. Let's take that beautiful piece right there and see if we can't fix it here. So we're gonna take our glue mixture, gonna get it a little bit wet so it starts to stick. 
and we'll probably tear the edge of this afterwards depending upon what uh, we think it looks like. We don't want to cover up the washi tape there. We can bend that piece around the sides. And again, it just gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of painting. Oh, I love that. What do you think? Love the wrinkles too, but look at this part right here. That's beautiful. And again, it all depends upon what kind of napkins you find as to uh, what your uh, little pieces of ephemera are going to look like. And we're gonna let that dry. And after I let it dry, I may iron it or set something on it just to make it uh, lay flat again. And that's okay when it boils up like that. And we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of that paper and put it on one more tag. And again, we may tear off the excess. We may end up um, taking the edge of these and using our gold ink pad. Or we may tear them or cut them with fancier scissors. We do lots of things before we're done with them. So this is just step one, stage one, giving it texture with the wrinkles, giving it a little color with the gold lines under it. And I can tear off these pieces or we can just simply affix them to the back. We just don't want them pulling off. And another piece done. And we're gonna let that one dry. Okay. And let's try what a plain tea bag that we've taken the tea out of, opened it up, let it dry out a little bit. We're gonna see what that looks like on one of our tags as well. We're just maybe gonna cover the side of that tag, wipe it around there, see how that looks. Finish that up. And again, to prevent waste, we've only put a little bit in our cap. And I really want these to dry on permanent. So I'm liberally using that. So we're probably going to have to pour some more glue and water in to make our mixture. The rest of that tag too. Sometimes different, pe pl uh, different uh, pieces instead of one solid piece is going to give a little bit more texture, a little bit more fraying, and a little bit more wrinkle. I know I'm not getting too many wrinkles in this piece. And see what we find. I want to go ahead and doll up another page. And again, when your glue gets low, just pour in some more water to your cup, some more glue, mix that up, and we will continue having fun. And again, about one third to two thirds. And I'm not quite daring enough to figure out what I want to do on the back page. Maybe I'll just put some more um, lace around the outside of it. I think that might be the best thing to do at this point, but let's go ahead and come in here to another yellow page and see if we can put some of this gold foil and bring that down a tone. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and take that glue and brush it right down where we wanna put that uh, piece of napkin with a gold fringe on it. Get that nice and wet so it's gonna hold that on. Then we'll lay that like that so you can see it. Then we'll put, put some of that gold foil down. A couple pieces over here. Put that right on top of some of that threading. And we're gonna rip out some more of that 
beautiful gold. Let's see, put that right on here. Scrunch that up on there. And again, doesn't matter if you wrap it around the page, we can cut that off, trim it, or just wrap it around the other side, depending upon what the other side looks like and how we want to do that. We don't have to cover the whole yellow. I think I might leave some of that open because I kind of like how that looks. Might just put a little piece at the top. And then once this one dries, we're gonna take it over to the uh, iron or just press the page flat. Because sometimes they'll lay flat again, sometimes they won't, depends upon how moist your water glue mixture and how thick you put it on. So again, I might just take a tiny piece and put it right at the top over here. upside down. There we go. That one looks nice. Put that right on the top. I think we can wrap these right around the other edge. Oh, I like that. All right, what do you think? And that again is just a start of dolling up that next page. We're gonna write or journal and do some drawing on it very soon. I like that stretched out like that much, much better. What do you think? It adds a little texture and some volume on that. And the other page is definitely not ready for prime time. Uh, but you can see how that is looking as well. Okay, and I think that's going to be it for today, my friends. And we are going to come back and uh, keep dolling this book up. It does take a little time, and I think we never stop glaming it up. We just keep on going and keep making that beautiful. Love it. What do you think? You know, I think since we have the uh, the glue and the stamps out, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more to these open pages. And again, I had brought out just some uh, stamps that I had uh, collected and a little doily. And let's decide where we're going to put that. Might cut that in half and put that right there. I like that idea. And I was thinking for this browner sticker right over here, maybe on the edge. And let's see if we're gonna put lace around, it's gonna cover up the bulk of that, but I'm definitely thinking, I'm feeling at least the pink stamp, uh, maybe the pink and purple on that page as well, and we'll wait on these. So we'll put those out of reach. And let's take the doily. Let's trim the doily slightly in half, a little bit less than half, I think I want to take on this page. So we're gonna take just this page and we're gonna glue that right down here underneath the edge of the pocket, right like that, I think. And then we'll put those maybe up at the top somewhere. Let's get that one glued down since we have it here. pink stickers. Uh, not sure where we want them. We'll go ahead and take the tag out for now. 
thinking I'm feeling them right up here, maybe even overlapping each other here. Not sure, I like that one there a lot. So let's put it down. put a lot more on here and I'm going to put lace around the edge I do believe but let's go ahead and put this stamp down too so I like that one there I'm just going to kind of not overlap them but join those little rough edges there okay and let's put this one I think overlapping the threads on this side here Top. Go ahead and do some of the edge here so that stays down secure. Okay, I think I like how that looks. So I did one more little step. What do you think? Very good, and of course that's a pocket. We've not sealed any of that, so that we can still fully use. I'm thinking about putting the clasp buttons on the outside of this, so when we close it, and then put the lace around here, you'll see me do that in an upcoming video. And this is uh, just one more part.